Yeah. Flat top. Flat top. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kelvin Krupiak and today we're gonna take a look at another men's haircut. I'm gonna show you guys how to request and style a flat top. Also, I have to give a big thank you to Fade Station for letting me come in and film this cut. If you guys are looking for a top tier place here in Albuquerque to get your hair cut, I will link to their website right down below in the video description. So to start with, you can see that my barber is going to blow dry my hair and use hairspray, which is something very lightweight, to help hold everything in place. And this is gonna help him find the right points to use when he's defining the general shape of the haircut. And once the volume has been added and the hair is locked into place, you'll see him using a point at the top of my head as a reference for the lowest point to cut. This is going to act as a guide to keep him from overcutting and trimming everything down too short up top. Now once he's defined that point, it becomes all about removing the general bulk and using the clippers and comb to create that uniform flat top style. After he's developed the general shape for the top of the haircut, you'll see it's time to start removing the bulk from the sides and outlining the different tiers of the fade that you're going to see. Also, I do want to point out that the sides really come down to personal preference. I didn't want to go as short or as high with the fade as I did with the high and tight men's haircut I did a little while back. By the way, if you do want to see that video for reference, I will link to it down below in the video description and you'll also see a card appear in the top corner of your screen. Now what you're going to see as the fade is being outlined is everything zeroed out at the neckline and around the ears, fading into a one and a half on the sides. And now it's time to start blending everything together. So my barber was very meticulous when creating the structured shape you would expect to see with this classic men's hairstyle. You can see him paying very close attention as he squares off the sides and the back. Moving back up to the top of the head, he's gonna use a little more hairspray and the blow dryer to reintroduce that volume and lock that hair into place once again. As it sits right now, you can see from the profile of my face, the haircut is already very well shaped and adding a lot of structure to the top and back of my head. And now, as you can see, it's really just about revisiting each section of the cut to make sure everything's nice and squared off. All of these small adjustments he's making have a substantial impact on the overall shape of the cut, so I really appreciate how much time actually went into revisiting each side of my head to make sure everything was leveled out as well as it could be. After he finishes fine tuning the sides and the top, he's going to return once again to the neckline. As I said earlier, he's going to zero out the cut at the neckline and right around the ears. Now to recap, if you wanted to ask for this cut with a similar fade to mine, you would ask for a zero around the neckline faded into a one and a half on the sides. Also, because of how much detail goes into a cut like this, be aware that you'll need to visit the barber about every two to four weeks to maintain this style. However, if you're not looking to make a trip to the barber that often, you can extend the lifespan of this haircut. If you're using the right product as your hair starts to grow back out, it can still look like a well-maintained textured cut. So you do have have some styling flexibility as your hair starts to grow back out from the original haircut. And after the final round of getting everything as level as possible, we're ready to clean up the back of the neck with a razor, and then we're left with a proper flat top. And finally, here's everything about an hour after the cut. The fade is done very, very well, and this hairstyle actually complements my face shape much more than I had anticipated. I was hesitant to try this hairstyle out since I had never done anything like it before, but I was hoping it would bring some structure and shape to my face, and it certainly did. If you want the more traditional stylized look that I have here, and you have thin and fine hair like myself, you'll wanna rely on using a blow dryer and something very lightweight like hairspray. However, if you wanna focus on creating something that's a bit more subtle, you can use a product that adds a bit more weight and texture to your hair, like a good clay. And you can see here for reference, this is what this hairstyle looks like when my hair is weighed down with a matte clay. It still has a lot of the square shape that the flat top provides, but it's a more subtle look. 
And there you have it, guys. I'm excited that I was able to knock out a haircut that was so heavily requested. If there's anything else in the world of shorter men's hairstyles that you would like to see done here on this channel, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to make a video covering it. But aside from that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up right down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new here so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.